Padre Pio's dedication and tireless efforts were evident throughout his life, even in old age. However, due to his declining strength, he had to prioritize and make some adjustments to his activities. But there was one thing he couldn't forgive himself for leaving out. Stay tuned to hear the story. Welcome to our YouTube channel following Padre Pio, about the Capuchin friar, mystic and miracle worker, whose intercession is still very powerful and active today. We publish videos and shorts five days a week, so follow us to find out more about the life of this fascinating saint, and you will be amazed at what Padre Pio can do for you, a family member or a friend. I'd like to take a moment to thank the members of our Protected Children of Padre Pio program for your financial help and support. You make these videos possible for everyone. May Our Lady and Padre Pio reward you abundantly. If you're not yet a member of the special program, why not join now? Members have special spiritual as well as material benefits. Just click the link in the description below to find out more. Today's story was sourced from the book Padre Pio Parla della Madonna. Padre Pio Speaks of the Madonna by Father Marcellino Ia Sanzaniero. Father Marcellino gives us insight into Padre Pio's final days on earth and what was deeply troubling him. Here's the story. As Padre Pio's life neared its end, he faced the challenges of diminishing strength. After a long day of work, he would fulfill his final obligations, such as attending meetings with the collaborators of Casa Solievo della Sofferenza, and then retire to his cell seeking well-deserved rest. Now, Padre Pio was never one to take shortcuts or cut corners, so we can be certain that he poured out his heart and soul into every task, giving it his all without reservation, even at the age of 80. Every evening, as he passed by the cell of the guardian father, which was located right next to his own, he would knock on the door, bidding him good night and asking for his blessing. But as he prepared to rest, a deep sorrow would overwhelm him, for he could no longer participate in the communal prayers, including the final prayer of the day. This absence from the collective spiritual practice weighed heavily on his conscience. One day, after hearing the confession of Father Carmelo Durante, the superior of the convent, Padre Pio felt a compelling need to open his heart and share his inner trouble. I want to confide in you, not only as a brother, but also as my superior. There's a deep bitterness within my soul. The guardian father, perplexed by Padre Pio's distress, asked, Are you feeling unwell? Is something troubling you? Padre Pio's response echoed with a sense of longing. It's the fact that I can no longer join my fellow brothers in the choir and partake in the communal prayers. I can't help but wonder what they must think of me. Father Carmelo provided reassurance to Padre Pio, emphasizing that his absence did not cause scandal among his fellow brothers. Instead, they held a deep admiration for his unwavering commitment to fulfilling his daily obligations, even in the face of his advanced age. But, despite these consoling words, the sorrow within Padre Pio's heart would renew itself each night. As he retired to his cell, assisted by a few devoted friars, he prepared himself for rest. Yet, as the evening prayers concluded, the friars would leave the choir and visit him, wishing him a peaceful night's sleep. Before laying down, Padre Pio would kiss each one of them and humbly ask for a small favor. He would kindly ask, could you say a Hail Mary for me? And thus, this is how Padre Pio would conclude his long day, in the presence of his fellow friars with prayer on their lips. What truly captivates me about Padre Pio in this anecdote is his dedication to his religious duties. He was exemplary throughout his whole life, fulfilling every obligation of his religious calling. Yet, he still carried a genuine concern about not being a perfect example. It's truly remarkable to witness the depth of his devotion. This is an example for each one of us to fulfill the obligations of our own state in life 100% for love of God and for neighbor. Furthermore, it's heartwarming to witness the deep respect shown by his fellow friars, who went out of their way to ensure 
that Padre Pio still felt part of the Brotherhood as a whole. The sense of belonging and unity that Padre Pio experienced through prayer was not just a mere aspect of his life. It was a vital and profound part of his existence. This story serves as a powerful reminder to us all about the significance of supporting one another in our spiritual journeys. So let's not forget to pray for one another and with one another. Thank you for listening. Please give our channel a boost by continuing to watch another video. This will help with the YouTube algorithm. I have recommended some videos especially chosen for you on the end screen. Or just click on one of the links in the description below for a full selection of great Padre Pio stories. We have a new playlist, Padre Pio Thought for the Day. Check it out. And don't forget to enroll your Mass intentions for next Friday's Padre Pio Holy Mass. You will find the link in the description below. And stay tuned for the next video on the life of Padre Pio.